हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अशरफ जूनियर रेजिडेंट थर्ड ईयर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस जे एन एम सी एच एम यू अलीगढ़ प्रेजेंटिंग ए केस रिपोर्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल पॉन्टाइन माइलिनोलाइसिस विथ एक्स्ट्रा पॉन्टाइन माइलिनोलिसिस हेयर द क्लिनिकल हिस्ट्री ए फोर्टी सिक्स ईयर मेल नॉन डायबिटिक नॉन हाइपरटेंसिव नॉन एल्कोहलिक प्रेजेंटेड टू एमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट विद चीफ कंप्लेन ऑफ वॉमिटिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी डेज एंड घबराहट फॉर सेवन डेज and episodes of abnormal movements for 5 days he came from a private hospital where he was managed initially for the same and ncct head was done that are that turned out normal study at the time of presentation serum electrolyte was done there was severe hyponatremia serum sodium was 100 108 108 mg per dl cbc rft lft or within normal limit There is a history of correction of sodium done by three percent NaCl, and repeat sodium uh, serum electrolyte was done after twenty four hours. The serum sodium was turned out one twenty eight milligram per deciliter, and after few days, patient again developed episodes of abnormal movements, difficulty in breathing, and so on. On neurological examination, this spasticity and decerebrate posture, bilateral hypotonia in the upper limbs, Babinski reflex on the right side. and normal uh, plant reflex on the left side a tracheostomy was done for the airway maintenance and mri brain was advised here are the images of mri this is the t1 axial image at the level of pons and t2 axial image at the level of basal ganglia in the t2 t1 image there is a few hyper intensities seen in the uh, pons region Few hyper intensities in uh, pons, and on in T two image at the level of basal ganglia, showing symmetrical areas of hyper intensities in bilateral caudate, globus pallidus, and putamen. Uh, again, this is T two axial image at the level of pons and diffusion weight, weighted image. T two axial showing uh, three. Uh, linear hyper intensities uh, forming omega sign or trident sign giving restriction on diffu diffusion weighted imaging so this is the characteristic omega sign or trident sign and this again this is the t2 flare image at the level of basal ganglia region and showing multiple uh, hyper intensities seen in bilateral basal ganglia region and showing diffusion uh, restriction on diffusion weighted imaging in the corresponding areas and this is the axial say uh, axial image of diff, uh, diffusion weighted imaging at the level of pons showing characteristic trident sign the trident sign is due to the involvement of transverse pontine fiber and relative sparing of descending cortico spinal tract that is responsible for this characteristic uh, omega shaped appearance so these all are M mri brain finding the symmetrical areas of altered signal intensity involving bilateral caudate globus pallidus putamen pons appearing high which is uh, which are appear, appearing hyper intense on t1 weighted imaging and hyper intense on t2 flare with restriction on diffusion weighted imaging with no evidence of blooming on swi so the diagnosis was central pontine myelolysis with extra pontine myelolysis uh, coming to the discussion central pontine myelolysis which is a component of osmotic demyelination syndrome is a frequent neurological complication that follows rapid correction of hyponatremia electrolyte abnormalities are frequently encountered during hospitalization that which are usually followed by aggressive normalization of the involved electrolyte The osmotic demyelination syndrome comprising central pontine myelolysis and extra pontine myelolysis are common neurological complication associated with abrupt osmotic fluctuation alcoholics and malnourished patients generally are deficient in organic osmolytes and condition that may these condition they, they may put them at greater risk for developing osmotic demyelination syndrome some other additional comorbidities that predisposes osmotic demyelination syndrome like pro prolonged use of diuretics transplantations extensive burns 
the sites of uh, extrapontine myelolysis includes basal ganglia and cerebral white matter and less commonly the peripheral cortex hippocampus and lateral geniculate bodies extrapontine myelolysis commonly occur in conjunction with central pontine myelolysis however it may also occur in isolation so the, these are the, the differential diagnosis for uh, central pontine myelolysis or extrapontine my myelolysis multiple sclerosis, brainstem infarct, pontine neoplasm such as astrocytoma, CNS lymphomas, brainstem metastasis. A treatment, uh, in the treatment prevention, the treatment of uh, central pontine myelosis is primarily aimed at prevention. Then reintroduction of hyponatremia. The current recommendations are to correct the sodium not more than 8 to 12 milliequivalent per liter for, per 24 hours. Supportive care. Supportive care measures include ventilator support, intense physiotherapy and rehabilitation, and anti-Parkinsonism drugs. Prognosis: Some patients may recover completely. However, six months survival rate is only five percent. Thank you.